We're gonna crown some subscriber champions today and there's nothing you can do to stop us. There are just two races left to decide the final standings of the subscriber league, as well as who will win one of our individual racer awards that will be presented during today's closing ceremony. We start with a relay race for all of our participating subscribers. After that, our team captains from Divisions 1 and 2 will face off in a final fiery racetrack in what will surely be the most extreme marble racing event of the year so far. The brilliant bunch take the lead in this first race. They've found themselves in a relegation battle and they need to pick up these big points to try and avoid that. Mokachok are now challenging them and it's going to be tight between those two for first place. The Wishful Spheroids secure third place. That's some good points towards their quest of trying to hold on to an overall podium spot. But perhaps not quite enough to try and overhaul that nine gap lead the Jabberwockies currently have at the top of Division 1. But for this race, it is Mocha Chocka who took the win just ahead of the brilliant bunch. Conchoculations. We've got our top two teams racing in this heat, the Jabberwockies and Silver Bullets. It's the Jabberwockies with the lead, the Bloodhounds just behind them, and the Invincibles mounting the challenge now. They're up to second just ahead of the Bloodhounds, but it's the Jabberwockies who take the win, and I believe they'll take the championship with that as well. Especially with Silver Bullets having such a poor finish in fifth place, just ahead of Marble Red Sox, a very worrying last place result for them. But congratulations once again the Jabberwockies, yet another win, and that has indeed clinched the title for them with one race to go. Marble Red Sox fall to last place with the Bloodhounds up two, but there's only one point in it with Nightfall in between them as well. It's a very different story at both ends of Division 2. Seaweed need a miracle to stay in this league, and Team Hypnotic need a miracle to not to not to stay in this league. Seaweed are up in this first heat, and they're right next to their closest rivals, Comets of Sea. Seaweed with a better start, but Comets of Sea take the lead in the first exchange and extend it in the second. They've got Blue Crew right behind them into the third, and it's Comets of Sea who take the win. Seaweed finish in last place, and that surely now does condemn them to third division racing next season. Blue Crew continue their strong second half of the season with a second place, but big congrats to Comets of Sea. It's the Division 2 top spot up for grabs in this second heat, with Winter Sprinters trying to close that 10 point gap between them and league leaders Team Hypnotic. They've started well, but they lose the lead now to Big Tuna Town, and they've fallen all the way to last place. Team Hypnotic struggling too, but I think they have managed to finish just ahead of Winter Sprinters. And that's all they really care about at this moment, trying to hold on to that league championship. But let that not distract us from the race in hand, which has been won by Knights of the Round Marvel. A big 10 points for them and a big 7 points for Midnight Warriors in their battle against relegation. Winter Sprinters now out of contention for the title as Blue Crew move up to 2nd place. They can still catch Team Hypnotic, but they may wish to focus on protecting their promotion spot against those 5 teams lurking closely behind them. Technically any one of these teams can still secure promotion, but I suspect Sour Lemons and maybe even Runner Beans will simply be happy to still be here this time next season. Ghosts have been the most consistent team, but the Liquidators and Tigers have shown great promise too. And it's Tigers who lead coming into the second exchange, and they extend it further coming into the third. But Ghosts managed to catch up now, and I believe they've sneaked the win just on the finish line. Another win it seems for Ghosts and a second place for Tigers. While Ketchup Mustard Galore get their 5,683rd third place finish. The Liquidators in 4th, Runner Beans in 5th and Sour Lemons in 6th place. Congratulations on that race win for Ghosts, they will be crowned the champions. While Sour Lemons will be crowned the Sour Lemons. Tigers have managed to snatch second place by just one point ahead of the Liquidators, so they'll be joining Ghosts in Division 2 next season. 
Ah, help! Our marble runs on fire! <laughs> <laughs> Only joking, it's meant to be that way. Because our marble runs are lit. Really lit. Though, of course, don't try this at home. Leave it to us, the professionals. Although, technically, we're still about 200 subscribers away from being able to actually call ourselves professionals. So, you know what to do. Click, click, nudge, nudge. This first race is a real relegation dogfight with Comets of Sea, Midnight Warriors and Pink Panthers all facing possible relegation along with Seaweed, who have won this race. What a way for them to go out with a bang. Comets of Sea finish in second, their second good result of the day should see them safe. While Pink Panthers and Midnight Warriors, fourth and sixth respectively, leaves them still precariously perched. Marble Master finally gives Seaweed something to cheer about. And it's on to the final race of the season for Division 2. Can Team Hypnotic hold on to top spot? They've started well, but their challengers Blue Crew are ahead of them in first place. Knights of the Round Marble in second. Team Hypnotic in third with a late challenge from Let's Get Ready to Bumble. A last place finish for Honey Badgers in that relegation battle. But the top two once again go to Blue Crew and Knights of the Round Marble, this time in the reverse order of the relay. Yet another photo finish scenario for Let's Get Ready to Bumble. And once again they have missed out, this time to Team Hypnotic. Congratulations Captain Andy Stabell with a win for Blue Crew that sees them consolidate that second place, which gets them promoted along with Team Hypnotic. That fine finish from Knights of the Round Marble sees them round out the podiums, while sadly Midnight Warriors will be relegated along with Seaweed to Division 3. Silver Bullets, Wishful Spheroids and Waterpuck Fun Times all have their eyes on the podium places, while Hasty Hurricanes are painfully close to the relegation zone, but they're fighting for their lives in second place with the Wishful Spheroids out in the lead. Waterpark Fun Times finish in third. Team Ikea, I think it was in fourth, but it all happened so quick. Let's have another look. The Wishful Spheroids indeed get the win. Hasty Hurricane second. It was the brilliant bunch in fourth, just ahead of Team Ikea with Silver Bullets finishing in last. A torrid day for them. But congratulations, Laurent roll on with the win for the Wishful Spheroids. That strong Hasty Hurricanes finish essentially makes this a three-way relegation shootout between Marble Red Sox Nightfall and the Bloodhounds who lead, just ahead of the Jabberwockies who want to end with a win despite already claiming the title, but it's the Bloodhounds who hold on to get the full 10 points. Marble Red Sox and Nightfall battling for that last place with Mocha Chocky in between as well. And it's Marble Red Sox finished in fourth. They couldn't quite take the Invincibles in the end, with Nightfall finishing in last. But both of their fates may well have been sealed by Visionaries, captain of the Bloodhounds, who gets them the win that takes them up to 10th place. Marble Red Sox and Nightfall are relegated, while that win for the Wishful Spheroids moves them up to seconds, just ahead of Silver Bullets, who hold on to the final podium place. Speaking of podiums, it's time now to celebrate all of our winners and near winners from across our divisions, starting with Ghosts, champions of Division 3. Congratulations to those newcomers. Division 2 was won fairly comprehensively by Team Hypnotic. They led pretty much all the way through the season. A fine finish from both Blue Crew and Knights of the Round Marble wasn't quite enough to topple them but it was enough to get them onto the podium. And finally, congratulationist of congratulations to our championist of champions, the Jabberwockies. They finished in the top three of every race. Well deserved champions of division one with a 15 point lead. It's time now to crown some individual champions as well. We've got three categories of special prizes to hand out to some of our individual subscriber racers. First of all, individual racer of the season. We've got five nominees. 
and the winner is Roly Poly Pudding of the Winter Sprinters. In their debut season, two wins out of two. We've got five very strong candidates for team captain of the season as well. But the winner is Andrew Stabell, captain of Blue Crew. Some fine strategic leadership really turned their season around to challenge at the top of Division 2. And finally, sports personality of the season. Her outstanding contribution not just to their own team, but to the wider world of the makeshift Marble Run community. And the winner is McDolphin of Waterpark Fun Times. We struggle to get this list even down to five, so a fine crown indeed for the one who finally wears it. Congratulations then to all of our winners, both individual and team, especially the Jabberwockies, who are the outright, undisputed, Season 2 Makeshift Marble Run subscriber champions. Well, there we go. It is finished. But don't be sad because it's over. Be happy because it happened. And also be happy because it's nearly time for the Makeshift Winter Marble Olympics. So stay tuned. <laughs>